Number 11, it's what we've been doing. We need a vertical asymptote and a horizontal and then domain and range. So for the vertical, we take the denominator and we set it equal to zero. So I have x minus one equals zero. To solve, x equals one. That's our vertical asymptote. Our horizontal, we have to look at the degree of the top and the bottom. And then there's the three rules. So degree on the top is zero. There's no x's. And the degree on the bottom is one. There's one x. When the denominator is greater than the numerator, do you remember? So y equals zero. That's our horizontal. Okay, so refer back to your chart with the three rules. All right, so domain and range. We're going to have to look at the graph eventually, but for now I could figure this out because I know my asymptotes, right? I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. So that means that my domain goes along and breaks at 1. And then it goes infinity and negative infinity. My horizontal is y equals 0. So I know I'm going to start down at negative infinity. My y values break at 0 and then continue up to positive infinity. But it's good to know what the graph looks like. So we're going to graph it. We have negative 4 divided by x minus 1. Was that what it was? Yep. And you can check your asymptotes, x equals 1, y equals 0. Yep, that's right. So our graph is on the top left here and the bottom. And that's just a matching in Canvas. So when you type it in, negative infinity 0. And then always repeat, pick up a zero and then go to infinity. And once I have it typed, I'm going to copy paste that and change my zeros to ones. And then we have to pick the right graph. So it looks like this first one. There's our one asymptote and our zero asymptote. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Um, domain and range. Where'd we mess up? Oh, I have my, I have them switched. <laughs> range is zero. Domain is one. That's what happens. Make sure your notes are right next to you. I'm going off memory because I have to click back and forth and I don't like to do that. So y value is zero. And then one is the domain. So if you do get it wrong, go back and check and make sure you typed it in right.